Welcome back everybody. Today we are talking about trailers for tractors. In another hauling solution video we did recently with a yard glider, we had these in the background kind of teasing you guys a little bit. A lot of you wanted to know more about them. We're going to give you the nitty gritty on that today. Show of hands, how many of you didn't know we were sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers? Now you may not need Bora Wheel Spacers on one of these trailers, but you probably need them on your tractor. So if you're looking for a stability solution to keep you from tipping over side to side, check out Bora, link down below. Hey, and if you're up for it, hit that like button down below, subscribe for more videos, and visit goodworkstractors.com to find stuff for your tractor. And you guys know what this is? Some of you longtime viewers may have an idea, a jar of honey. I'm holding Chris's share from the Bounty. If you remember back in the spring, we did some work out uh, just down the road a few miles at Sheila's house at all sorts of tilling actually used a box blade to till and did some uh, hauling of other material all around and did some bartering so we got some honey and some eggs and this is chris's share of the honey right here i already had some myself it is delicious so thank you sheila you know so i've been on the hunt for wood processing firewood processing materials and equipment and uh, recently stumbled across i think it's yapa yapa japa j-a-p-a firewood processors and their distributor for the US is up in Wisconsin and website said they were looking for dealers so that was a good sign then I started looking at videos of all these firewood processors and they just look awesome and uh, I have a lot of property with a lot of potential firewood so I'm really excited to be getting one of those but they also sell these Ultratech trailers that are out of Finland a lot of you guys have been clamoring asking me over the years for a trailer solution for your tractors. And I know there's some others that are out there, but when I saw these, saw they were galvanized, saw some other great benefits about them, I had to get a couple of them in and share them with you. So I'm gonna give you the overview of what we're working with on both of these trailers. If I miss anything, there's gonna be links down below to the website where you have a full list of all of the details, the specs, whatever you need to know about them, including prices. That's gonna include shipping as well. We ship all over the country. So general construction, you're gonna have a galvanized body with a steel frame, all right? The tongues on both of these trailers are gonna actually swivel so that if you're on uneven terrain, you know, while the body and the trailer itself stays relatively flat, this tongue is gonna to swivel and pivot as needed over bumpy and maybe uneven terrain for your tractor or your UTV. And so both of these trailers are gonna have a dump feature. You can pull out this handle, rotate this little locking lever, and just dump it right up. And so this is a completely manual lift or manual tilt, manual dump. And with this unit, they move the axle a little bit closer, a little bit further forward towards the center. Uh, that way it would make it easier to dump. On the bigger unit, it's gonna be positioned further back, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's got a, a piston assist, and that thing has a lot of power. And this model, the 300L, is gonna be their entry level model, but it is giving you a lot of features a lot of bang for the buck, which I really enjoy and appreciate. And so this trailer weighs in at about 150 pounds, but it has a load or a carrying capacity of about 1,500 pounds. So roughly 10 times the amount that it weighs, which is pretty impressive. So besides using it as a regular trailer, the front and the back panels are both gonna be removable. So you can take those off real easy. And take a look at those oversized off-road tires as well. Gonna make it easy for traveling and uh, surfaces that are not your lawn. So where this comes in handy is if you want to put oversized or over length items in here such as logs. It even has this little um, serrated type of edge up here that almost will grab you know as logs are sitting on there and kind of hold them in place that way as you're driving along they're not going to want to slide out the back but just kind of stick right where you put them. Now I mentioned the body was galvanized which I really like it's nothing painted on there that's just going to look really bad you know I used to have a galvanized trailer that I absolutely loved um, you know still has the strength of of a steel versus an aluminum um, but just a lot more weather and corrosion protection on here. If we take a closer look at the front end, the tongue end, you're gonna have a two inch ball up front and notice this is a swiveling tongue again. So it's gonna rotate this way or that way if you're on uneven ground. You can even see they have a zerk here and on the locking mechanism for the dump trailer as well, which is a nice finishing touch. Okay, now we're on to the bigger brother, which is this guy here. And <laughs> one of my favorite features, the first one I wanna talk about, I don't even know what you call it. It's, um, it's a dual axle and they're independent on each side and they pivot. So is that an independent pivoting dual axle? I don't know what you call it, but you can get the idea. We tried to just take some firewood and show how 
if you have a bumpy surface, you know, rocks, potholes, whatever it is that you're going over, these are going to kind of react and help even and smooth out that ride as you're going along, maintain contact, prevent things from spilling over. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. Now this trailer is going to have pretty much every feature that the smaller one has, plus some more. Hey, you want a s'more? S'more what? No, no, you want a s'more. I haven't had anything yet, so how can I have some more of nothing? Shut up! You're killing me, Smalls. Hmm, s'mores sound good. So since we're standing here, you can see it's got a, a little tool holder, uh, just some straps on here to put a shovel in, carry something along with you. I will say we had a long-handled shovel, and when it was in the dump position, the shovel part was interfering with this rear tire. I suppose if you're going to have it to help kind of scoot stuff out, you would take the shovel out before you would dump it, so maybe not a big deal. And on this side, you have a little bolted on uh, cubby, you know, some storage. Maybe you could throw a chain in there. I don't know, whatever you want. Just a storage space that I guess it's nice to have. So I also have on order, it's not here yet, but a version of, I think it's this same cart, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm not positive yet, but it's going to have um, an electric motor with a hydraulic dump system so that you just push a button and up you go and then back down. And I know that that system sits right here so it's out of the way so if you do have the front and the back open and have long logs or something else in there it's not going to interfere i don't want you to be fooled by the size of these pistons because they are stinking strong and they work great because if you have this loaded full of dirt or heavy material and you want to dump it well you want that help that assist that the piston gives when you're lifting it up the flip side of that is it takes a lot of effort to actually lower it back down. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna get any easier over time, maybe a little bit, I wouldn't expect much though. But I'm gonna show you the kind of effort it does take to uh, lock it back into place. One, two, three. Right there, there we go. That was not as hard as I could pull something, but that wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do either. Oh, and since we're up here, I wanted to point out, this one does have a parking stand. There is a version of the smaller trailer with a parking stand as well, but it's kind of um, got a few other things that go along with it as well for a higher price point. I chose to get in the most basic, simple version um, of the smaller trailer. I felt that that cheaper version of the smaller trailer with the features that it has on the standard setup is the better buy. So this variation that I got is called the earth moving trailer. So it's got a, uh, a spring assist or a piston assist rear gate on it. And then this gate's gonna stay open just like this. There is a version of this trailer I do believe that's gonna have the same removable gate on the front and the back like the smaller unit does. But I wanted to show a variation in the setup and how you can have it configured. And you're gonna see it's got a black laminated uh, plywood inlay on here. So I think perhaps this inlay is gonna serve a couple of purposes, probably helps to provide some reinforcement for very heavy loads. And I suppose it may help things slide out, dirt or other materials slide out a little bit easier when it's dumped. And I think I forgot to mention, this one will carry about 3,300 pounds or more than double what that small one will carry. A couple quick dimensions if I didn't mention it. Uh, the cart here is gonna be about five foot long front to back and this one's gonna be about six and a half foot long. Overall width, outside to outside of the tire, is about four foot, just slightly over that. So it's nice for smaller tractors or UTVs. You don't have to worry about when you're going through the woods down a trail, you know, is my trailer gonna whack a tree when my UTV or my tractor made it through. Stock levels are gonna vary, you know, with everything these days. It's been tough to keep things in stock and we're obviously getting them from Finland and they're coming over here. So it takes a little bit of time to get replenished, but we're gonna ship these directly from the main distributor here in the States. So it's gonna help keep the shipping costs down. I'm not having a bunch of stuff sent from them to me and then back out to you. We're gonna keep the cost down as low as we possibly can and make it as affordable as possible for you. Well, I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you wanna get more information on tractors and tractor attachments, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want something for your machine, visit goodworkstractors.com. Hey, thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.